Oh dear. Well, we told you there was storm clouds gathering, and indeed it kicked off big time. That's our leader, Simon Yates. But Thibaut Pinot, who sits only two, just about two and a half minutes down, two minutes and 33, is in the break. Now, at the moment, he's virtual leader. He's a decent climber. Today he's got lots of climbing. In fact, uh, probably 20 peaks of which they have decided to categorize just four. And in fact, uh, we're on one of them right now. Uh, meanwhile, um, the uh, uh, the mountains points, uh, there are some up for grabs here. And Pierre Roland wants some. Um, you can you can see as well that uh, he's not alone in that regard. Uh, Roland, uh, it's such a major feature of so many breaks early on in this race and he's been beaten to it by Bolka Mollema um, as uh, meanwhile say your prayers everybody and because uh, this man Alessandro De Marchi has gone and if he can get to the peak and uh, go over the top on his own then he's got a downhill run and he's capable of delivering it this is the man who's in no man's land at the moment Restrepo said he was in no man's land he's uh, he's up with uh, uh, De Marchi right now and it's a duo that will take on um, this uh, little peak <laughs> it really is starting to shower here, Sean. It may well come as a blessed relief. And all of a sudden, picking this up, uh, go the men with the pink shoulders. And this is uh, education first and maybe, maybe in rough conditions. And guess what? Uh, suddenly, um, uh, he has no other option than to go early. Alessandro De Marchi does not want to arrive with Restrepo uh, on a tow rope and then just get mugged by the man at the very last. And he wants some distance. Uh, Rigoberto sits uh, at uh, 32 seconds down. And uh, we're, there he is, in fact, uh, wearing the treble one with the pink shoulders just in, in front of uh, Alejandro Valverde, what is the white combined jersey. Uh, there is uh, Gorka Izagire, who's up here doing some pacing work. The red jersey of Simon Yates. We've got a proper GC battle raging behind us and trying to uh, play catch up. As you can see, Lotto Yumbo. I don't want to get disengaged from the party. And this is that chasing group. And I'm afraid that uh, this has done for the efforts of Thibaut Pinot to go into uh, the red jersey. The main players for the jersey, including the jersey itself, uh, the red jersey on the back of uh, Simon Yates is part of this group. And I'm just hoping we're going to get the pickup. And here it is. Demarkey it is. He crosses the line. Uh, blesses himself as well. Invoking the almighty, I'm sure, on some of those uh, so's climbs. Kreisfeld goes for it. And uh, Valverde is also in here. Uh, Yonis Aguirre is there. I don't think there's going to be any gaps here declared by the commissaires. It would be a tough one to call. as uh, uh, It is uh, Fiatkowski that just rounds out that uh, particular little group. And indeed, uh, the gap, incidentally, back to uh, Thibaut Pinot in the end uh, between the main players and Thibaut Pinot was about 19 seconds. Alessandro, you didn't want to finish in a sprint with Restrepo, right? No, if I, if I wear the sprint, I think I was uh, for sure second. Uh, the only option I had uh, was to, to try everything on the, on the last climb. And honestly... I didn't, I didn't feel best leg, but uh, it was just uh, mind. Where did you find this so much energy after a hard stage? I think uh, in one moment today I, I just say that I had just to try to keep trying and going because it was really fighting a, a battle every moment. Every every move was uh, was looking like the the good one, and then they come back. So it was really difficult. Then I just say, okay, I I do what the, the maximum I, I I could, and then uh, then we see. Three years after your last win, how good is it today? A lot because uh, uh, sometimes you you think to to be to miss a bit yourself. And to, to lost uh, the feeling, and uh, you need uh, you need to to come back uh, first at the line sometimes. Well done, thank you.